Hi everyone, Maria Recruit here, and uh, today we're going to be discussing on how to thrive as a real estate investor during the COVID-19 or corona pandemic. And I have three tips that I want to share with you. And these are three tips that I'm using right now and have used since the beginning of the coronavirus. So it's uh, Maria Recruit here from All Things Real Estate, and um, I'm the founder of our Real Estate Media News Network. We do have a YouTube channel. Please uh, uh, do subscribe, like, and share. And I have 83 videos on there with all things real estate that will educate you about becoming a better real estate investor, which is what I've always tried to do. Um, I started uh, real estate 20 years ago in 2000, and I've gone up and down with the market, uh, made changes in 2008 when you know the market bottomed out. No, not so much in Canada, because we didn't have those problems, but certainly in the United States, things just bottomed out. And now in 2020, we're bottoming out again i mean like this has never happened in history so what do we have to do i mean we have to do things and think about like like real big business we can't think of ourselves as small business we have to think of ourselves as a big business and learn the strategies that the big business people are doing right now the big real estate investors are doing right now so uh, the three tips and i'm going to go into this right now the three tips the tip number one that i suggested to everyone um, I am the uh, founder of the Canadian Real Estate Investors Association, but also the Canadian Real Estate Investors Association on Facebook. And what I suggested to all my members at that time is that you defer your mortgage. So I hope that all of you have deferred your mortgage because if you don't have people that are going to pay, and there's many, many landlords that have tenants that are living um, in their home without paying and have not been paying for a number of months. And because the uh, Landlord and Tenant Board ha is closed down and is still shut down, and this is uh, July the 20th, 2020, it's still shut down, what are you going to do? So you can't even make mortgage payments because no one's paying you. So what you do is defer your mortgage so you don't have to make those big payments because the biggest payment in real estate are the um, interest pay, you know, pages, your mortgage payments, right? So that's the first thing. And actually, I've deferred my mortgage for a second time in July. So I've asked them once again. Things have not become any better in finding my five-star tenant because I have a certain type of tenant I want in my own. Homes. And until I find them, I don't rent them out. So uh, I've asked the banks to defer my mortgage. In the meantime, that's tip number one, defer your mortgage. Tip number two is refinance your property. So if you have one or two properties that have a good amount of equity, then you need to go and refinance them, take the money out, put it in the bank and live off of it. So you don't have to panic that the tenants aren't paying, the land and tenant board isn't open, you know, and, and no one's paying attention to, no one's on our side because quite frankly, no one's on our side. We have to be on our own side and we as real estate investors have to, you know, put a hand out to help the next real estate investor. So uh, that's what I've done is I refinance the money. I'm going to put it in the bank and I can live off of it nicely and, and you know, continue paying the bills I need to pay. Don't have to pay the big interest um, and principal for my property. So that's tip number two is refinance. Tip number three, I think is the mo most important is educate 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 you know once upon a time they said location 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 real estate and i'm going to say forget about location 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 how about educate 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 which means how are you going to choose your next tenant what is your avatar or what is your idea of a five-star tenant i have a picture in my brain of who i want in my rentals and I have been very fortunate that I have now, I've had my tenants up until now have been paying right on time and even ahead of time. They haven't, defer, they haven't deferred paying me their rent because I've chosen the right type of tenant to begin with to put in there. So I've, I haven't had any problems with any of them during this very difficult time for all of us, both the tenants and the landlord. So I'm going to ask you, this is a question for you to think about, who is your ideal tenant? How do you know that? Who is the type of tenant that doesn't give you any type of problems at all? Like I've got tenants that don't give me any problems. I don't even hear from them. Maybe I hear from them once a month with something that needs to be done. But that's what the type of tenant you need to 
take into your home. So now that we're going to be coming out of the COVID-19 pretty soon, the land antenna board is going to be starting and you'll, you'll probably evict some people. Don't jump into the next group of people who come along and say they need help because they're probably being evicted someplace else for non-payment of rent. So you're going to start that whole cycle all over again. So you need to stop yourself become educated you can go on my youtube channel real estate media news network and by the way press that button and subscribe and, and learn because i've got 83 videos that i've produced all this time during covid that i have all specialists all all you know property managers insurance agent um, um paralegals lawyers you name it i've had them on there giving advice of how to become a better landlord and one of them is with jay shaw and we discuss in, for 10 weeks we're discussing how to choose the right tenant what to do how to become a better landlord landowner and also property manager because i i manage all my own properties so i mean i'm you know that's the way i want it because the buck stops right here with me it doesn't go any further nobody else gets involved in my business so i'm asking you is how you're educating yourself to choose the next five-star tenant i know how i'm doing it i'm going to ask you to think about that who is your five-star tenant who is the best person that you can rent to next all right and you do all your uh proper checks and balances you do complete credit checks on anyone that's coming into your home you go to their home and drop off paperwork so you see how they live do they have a dog uh, do they have children are you know are they keeping the other house clean what, what is their vehicle like is it clean is it messy what's the front yard look like do you want that person to come into your home if they're if they're not doing well in the other home now this is the time for you to be very careful because there's gonna be many people who are being evicted for non-payment rent and they're looking for someplace else to go so I think one of the questions you should be asking is, did you pay rent all this time? That's the first, you know, that's another thing to ask. The other thing is don't jump from somebody that is offering you um, cash. That's the last cash you're going to see. That's not how you do it. There is a program, like I say to everyone who comes to me and says, I'm going to give you cash. I say, I'm sorry, I don't take cash. We have a protocol. We do very in-depth uh, credit checks on people. We're going to talk to all of your landlords. And if they say to you, well, you know what? I don't have any landlords. I've been living at home. I said, well, you know what? You want to move in with your boyfriend? You must have a landlord. So what they normally say to me is, oh, I'll get back to you, which means they would have been in trouble anyways. So I want you as a landlord, because I care about you, you know, otherwise I wouldn't be producing these videos. I'm not getting paid to produce vi these videos. I'm not getting paid to sit here and try and help you. Is educate yourself, find out who the great, the best tenant for you is, and then proceed very, very cautiously and very, very slowly when you decide to choose the next tenant. So I've gone over the three tips. Tip number one is defer your mortgage. Tip number three, two is um, refinance. And tip number three is educate, 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 and have an avatar of who you want to be your next five-star tenant. So this is Maria Recruit from All Things Real Estate. And I send you all my best wishes. And I wish all the best for you. Take care.